So recently, ladies and gentlemen, I ordered this dress that I am wearing from a clothing site called xpluswear.com. Now, xpluswear.com caters to plus size women, and that is how I identify. I am a plus size woman because, baby, I am the complete meal. I'm an appetizer, entree, dessert, and even a snack. So let me tell you about this dress that I am wearing. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, I paid $39.99 for this dress. It took about 10 days to arrive to me. Initially, I did not know that this was a clothing store that I guess is located in China, but usually plus size in China is not the same plus size in the United States. So this dress does come in two different colors, apricot and black. I have on the black and I wanna show you what it looked like on the model. This is how it looks on the model and you can kind of see how she's rocking it. Now let me show you how the dress looks on me. It is oversized. This is definitely not the sweater material that was advertised. So the material is thin. You can kind of see when I turn to the side, look how big this dress is. So much room here in the front. It just reminds me of a big sack. So it doesn't hug the body like it's supposed to. So this dress is definitely giving. You told Hartwell to beat me. So I decided to keep the dress, right? I'm not gonna send it back, it's only $40. But I said, what can I do to revamp the dress? So what I decided to do is to add a belt to the dress to try to cinch it in and to kind of highlight my shape. Now you can see the curves that I am serving. So here's the lesson I learned about this experience. Deanne, don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers, the lakes, and the Fashion Nova that you are used to. But that is my experience with xpluswear.com. gentlemen today's date is saturday january the 20th and the local time right now in atlanta is 402 a.m so i am coming from having six days off and i did absolutely nothing with the exception of going out with hunter to look for a house for him to buy and we'll talk about that later but after having six days off now i gotta go back to work and i have a four-day trip that i want to tell you about very quickly it is Atlanta to airport code MCO, which is Orlando, Florida. And then it looks like when I get to Orlando, I am changing aircrafts. So I have quite a few aircraft changes. Just keep that in mind. Now, leg two is Orlando back to Atlanta. I am also changing another aircraft, okay? So it looks like I'm going from a A320 to another A320 when I get back to Atlanta. And then it is Atlanta back to Orlando. Now when I get to Orlando again, I am changing another aircraft, still on the A320, and then it is Orlando to airport code TTN, which is Trenton, New Jersey. Now ladies and gentlemen, when I get to Trenton this evening, I will have a 13 hour and 12 minute layover. All right, so three aircraft changes today. Day two is one leg, it is Trenton, New Jersey, to airport code PBI, which is West Palm Beach, Florida. Now when I get there, ladies and gentlemen, I will have a 25 hour and four minute layover. Day three, it is West Palm Beach, Florida, to airport code ISP, which is Islip, New York, and then Islip or Long Island to Orlando. Now when I get to Orlando for day three, I will have a 16 hour and 32 minute layover. So day four go home day is three legs on an A321. So it is Orlando to Atlanta, and then I am doing something what we call a victory lap, which is a turn. Atlanta to airport code RDU, which is Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, and then coming right back to Atlanta. Now for this four day trip, the time away from base is 88 hours and 54 minutes. And the credit hours for this four day trip, 21 hours and 46 minutes. So the reason why I did pick up this trip is for the 25 hour layover in West Palm Beach, Florida. Now ladies and gentlemen, my report time this morning is 5 a.m. It is 4.09 a.m. 
So I will go ahead and request my Lyft right now, or Uber. The plan this morning is to pick up my order from Starbucks. I ordered my uh, Trenta strawberry lemonade acai with no strawberries because I don't want to get pregnant with lemonade. And then my double smoked bacon sandwich. Um, I need to go to the E-Gates this morning, okay? So I need to be very quick, getting through security, getting to the E-Gates, and getting on my flight. Of course, you guys know I gotta do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements. And if I did not mention this, I am the Beyonce for this four-day pairing. But that is what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, if I can come back, I will. But I need to get my day started, so we will speak later. Good morning. All right, guys, we are in Orlando. It's like 8.35 a.m. I went one coming from Atlanta. There's a lot going on. This is our first aircraft change. I will be with you a little bit later, but we are pressed for time. See you back in Atlanta. Good morning. All right, guys, another aircraft change. We just arrived in Atlanta. I went to coming from Orlando. Never going back to Atlanta. Child, I am already tired. I will see you once again in Orlando. All right guys, I am in Orlando again. It's about 1.50 p.m. It was 1.05 coming from Atlanta. So this is going to be like four, a uh, four heading to uh, Trenton. So the first flight, we had a delay. Uh, the plane coming in this morning, someone threw up and it was all over the place. They could not clean the area, so we had to get maintenance and cleaners to do a very extensive cleaning. So that caused like maybe a 45 minute delay. Then the water froze. Uh, we are gonna be boarding in about 10 minutes here, so hopefully my food will be ready and I can kind of get you guys caught up when I get to Trenton. I don't recall if I ever had a layover. Maybe I did, I just don't remember. Or the layover was not memorable, we'll see. Um, but yes, I am tired. This has been quite a long day. My duty day is already at 12 hours and I think 58 minutes. Now, we had a two hour sit in Orlando, okay? Actually right now. But because of the delay we had all throughout the day, it cut our sit time a little bit. So we are now on time. So there is that cushion, but guys, I will talk to you a little later when I get to Trenton. Mm, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon. the next day and good morning ladies and gentlemen today's day is sunday january 21st before i leave this room i'm going to do a quick room tour because i am running a little bit behind
it is one leg today. It is Trenton to West Palm Beach, Florida, where I will have a 25 hour layover. The last flight Orlando to Trenton was two hours and two minutes. It was a pretty light load on an A320 Space Flex. We have been changing aircrafts all day. Started off with a delay. When I got to this room, guys, I just crashed out. Right now, it is very cold in Trenton. Thank God I have my jacket. But I'm going to head downstairs and meet my crew and start off day two. So ladies and gentlemen, if I can, I'll be back with you later. If not, you'll hear from me when I get to West Palm Beach, Florida. Hopefully the weather is a little bit warmer. Good morning. And this is West Palm Beach, Florida. You can kind of see the sun going down in the horizon, but it is a nice cool breeze out here. And this is what I am seeing from my balcony. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is Monday, January 22nd, and the local time right now in West Palm Beach, Florida. It is 11.55 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, I have two legs today. It is West Palm Beach to Ice Slip or Long Island, New York, and then Long Island to Orlando, where I will have a 16-hour layover. Yesterday, my one and only flight, Trenton to West Palm Beach, was two hours and one minute. We were on the A320 Space Flex. So once again, 186 passengers, max capacity, 31 rows of seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we were not even halfway full. It was a very light load, but when I got to this room, I did what I was supposed to do, and that was recover. I was supposed to meet my crew. We were supposed to go out, but guys, I took a nap, woke up, ate, relaxed, watched Netflix, did some videos, and just chilled. And that's what I like to do on longer layovers. If I'm able to go out, I will. But yesterday, I just was not feeling it because the day before was very, very tiring on my body. So I do look forward to the 16-hour layover. Hopefully, I can make it up to the crew and we hang out tonight. But our van time is 12, 10 p.m. It is a very long walk to the elevator. So I am going to wrap everything up and get ready to head out to meet my crew. This is my look that I am going with today for these two legs. 
I'm hoping everything goes according to plan. There are no hiccups or disturbances today. But ladies and gentlemen, I will try to be with you later if I can. Good morning, almost afternoon. Two twenty-two coming from West Palm Beach. We are at our first leg, which is where am I at? In uh, Islip. Listen, nothing tests you more than New York passengers. Okay, so we got a little ground time here, and then we're gonna head off to Orlando. Let me finish doing this trash. I'll see you in Orlando. The next day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, January twenty-third. It's about 1.30 right now in Orlando. Relax today, Orlando to Atlanta, and then I'm doing a rally turn, okay? We are on the A321, the old one. So 41 rows of seats, 230 passengers, max capacity. We should have light loads on all three of these legs. Um, yesterday, guys, I just did nothing. This whole trip, I have been relaxing, minding my business, catching up on sleep, my vlogs, and other things. Um, I have a lot going on with moving, um, car, car insurance, there's a lot that's going on in my world. Um, but we are going to be boarding momentarily, okay? I just want to come to you guys and talk to you for a second. But as of right now, everything's on time, but I'll see you in Atlanta. Yeah, that's my first leg. Good afternoon. All right, guys, we are in Atlanta. It's about, I don't know, 428. No, what time is it? 4 11 p.m. That's the current time. It was an hour 10 coming from Orlando. Pretty light flight. Uh, we were a little over halfway full. Um, this one, guys, we're not even halfway full. We are under. Again, on this huge aircraft going to rally. We got a little ground time. I just went and checked the lows as the Beyonce. Pretty light flight right now. So I'll see you, I guess, in my second leg rally. Good afternoon. All right, guys, we are in Raleigh, Durham. It is, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, 6.48 p.m. We are going to be boarding in about 10 minutes. Right in Raleigh, there's a Popeyes. So I got a five piece. A little skeptical because they were closing and they ran out of, well, I should rephrase this. I got a five piece chicken tenders meal and I don't like spicy. They ran out of regular, so I'm about to try this uh, spicy one. Mm. It is hot, very hot. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Got barbecue sauce, I got me a drink, an extra biscuit. Now you know with Popeye's biscuits, you can choke on this. That's how dry it is. Just about as dry as this wig that I got on. But guys, we uh, have one more flight. It was very light load coming to Raleigh. It is a even lighter load going to Atlanta. Last leg, so very grateful. You have no idea. I have like, what, four days off? And I will say this, there is a drought when it comes to trips. Well, actually, let me just say this. In Atlanta, there are there is a drought of good men and good trips. Every trip that I have, I need to hold on to because there is nothing for me to pick up or trade. It is a drought. So yeah, I think turns, like everything is gone. They took everything, zero. It is going to be a every man for himself type of person. So whatever I can hold, I really need to hold on to it because there's nothing out there better. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here and mind my business for about five minutes and wait for this flight to be over with because I'll be in Atlanta. Talk to you later.